Hey y'all, hey, so today I wanted to show you how to clean your sewing machine. So this is my brother's SQ, I think 9285 if I'm not mistaken. So my main thing I like to use is a penny. As you see, I keep one in the cut and I'm using it right now to take my needle out, okay? Now I'm going to unplug everything for safety because ain't nobody got time to be getting shot okay just in case we're gonna plug the presser foot and the main source all right so again i like to use my penny my penny is used to um, loosen the screws right it's only two screws in this machine and if you don't have that you can use the tool that came with it or if you have like a large size safety pin I'll probably show it to you later you can use the back of that to unscrew it as well but anyway I like to start use my penny and start it and then I take the screws kind of out with my hands as you can see and I put it to the side where I can find them because I don't want to lose them during this process again I repeat that process and get my other screw out and it's a really really easy process after you do it a couple times it's it's really easy peasy so i brought it closer so you guys can really see what was going on here and sorry if my hand is in the way sometimes i switch to my left hand and that's my good hand and try to get to the right so you can see all right all right let's keep moving and um I take the screws off again I put them in a safe place because we do not want to lose them we need them and as you can see of course I have to take my bobbin out and my string remove those put them to the side and the L side which is this plastic thing it has two um, arrows and you have to press them to pop them out that normally comes out first and then the metal plate and when I put it back in the metal plate goes back in first and then the plastic goes back in second so as you can see I can pull it out you can clean behind it dust it really good and then I take the plate out now I turn the plate around too when I normally dust the back of the plate so I use just a regular paintbrush. Like if I could find one that's not ruined, the bad, the, the the newer the better, of course. And, or if you have the one that actually came with your machine, of course, it's smaller. It goes into all the crevices. But this is the one I could find today, and it's not too big and it's not too small. But it gave me a really good clean for what I'm trying to do. I want to dust it really good so I can move on with my project. Generally, I have to clean it every five times that I use it. Do I always? No. That's probably why you see so much dust now. I'm just being transparent. This is a, um electric machine. So, you know, you can't it's not advised to use the air cans or anything like that so that's why I go in and I use my hands and I get in there so yeah Now, as I dust around my machine, I will try to pull all the lint balls that I find out because, I mean, what's the purpose of cleaning it and leaving them in there? So, I just use the tip of the brush. The brush does a pretty good job of, like, use, you know, like, snatching it and grabbing it out of there. I can't really can't explain it, but it does. And again, this is just a regular art brush. And I took the bobbin out and I just, you know, dusted a little bit before I put it back in. And I 
think it took me a little while to put it back in because of how the um you have to make sure it's lined up and I wasn't lining it up so um yeah every moment is a teachable moment pay attention Okay, so the metal plate again is going to go in first in the back, and then I slightly tilt it in to make sure that it fits the way it needs to fit, and making sure it's lined up with the two holes that I have to go in and put the screws in as well is important. And so this is the plastic piece that goes on the outer part that has the two arrows on it that you have to, as you can say, I guess you could say use as like two latches to hold on to while you pop that piece in place over top and as you can say, outside of the metal piece. And of course I get my screws and I start by trying to tighten them with my fingers and <clears throat> if that doesn't work well go ahead and grab your penny or whatever it is that you're going to use and I like to screw them down some and then I go to the next one and screw it down halfway and then I go back and make sure I screw them all the way down. That's just my way of ensuring that they both go in and everything is secure. Okay, and as you can see, I'm just using the pen at this point to screw it in because sometimes because this pen is a little longer it's a little easier and then if you just so happen to drop your penny inside no worries you can always tilt the machine upside down slightly and shake it a little bit and get your penny back out but anyway yeah so once everything is screwed back in it's pretty much good to go and ready to be used again. All right, that's it for this video today, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Um, stay tuned for more videos similar to this. Let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this video and would like to see more of them. Peace.